In this video, I'm going to show you a really easy and quick way to install practically any game launcher on your Steam Deck, allowing you to play all of your non-Steam games. The first thing you need to do is to boot your Steam Deck into desktop mode. To do this, hold down the power button and select Switch to Desktop. Once in desktop mode, you'll be able to use the touchpad as a mouse and you can bring up the on-screen keyboard by holding the Steam button and pressing X. Alternatively, you can plug in a keyboard and mouse. Once in desktop mode, open a browser and navigate to this link. I'll include it in the description. If you don't have a browser, you'll need one, so head over to the Discover store and select one from there. On the non-Steam launchers page, download non-steamlaunchers.desktop from the latest release, open the downloads folder and launch the file. Click continue and you should be presented with this, a list of all the launchers that this script can install. I'm going to tick Epic Games and click OK. Click OK if you get this prompt and wait for the installation to complete. Once the installation is completed, Steam should launch. Go over to your library and check that it's installed correctly. I'm going to launch Epic Games and complete the installation process. Once it's finished and you're logged into Epic Games, just go ahead and install your games from your library as you usually would. Now I've finished, I'm going to go to the desktop and go back into gaming mode by selecting icon. As you can see, I now have the Epic Games store in my library. Let's launch it. In the launcher, you can use the touchpad as a mouse if you hold down the Steam button at the same time. Let's launch the game we've just installed and check that it works as expected. Next, I'm going to show you how to launch these games directly from your Steam library rather than having to go through the launcher each time. To do this, head back into desktop mode, open a browser and navigate to this link, which I'll include in the description. Download the latest release of Linux Boiler, go to the Downloads folder and run the file. Click Continue and you should get this. As you can see, it's detected that we've got Epic installed and it's detected Alba as we've installed previously. Before selecting the option to import games, there's a few settings to be aware of. The first one is an option to download images. This will download artwork for any of the games that are imported into Steam. But to do that, we first need an authentication key, which can be retrieved from this link. Again, I'll include it in the description. You'll need to create an account on SteamGribDB, head to this link, and then click Create API Key. Once you've created an API key, simply copy it over into Boiler and save the settings. Another option to be aware of is this one here. What this option does is force this Epic Games Launcher to run first and then the game to run when selecting a game from your Steam library. We'll only need to select this if you see compatibility issues when launching a game. So in this instance, I'm going to leave it unticked but worth being aware of. Now we've configured Boiler, I'm going to go over to Import Games and click the option to import games into the Steam library. Once this completes, I can head back into gaming mode and I should be able to see the games in my Steam library. You'll find them in Library, Non-Steam.
and there you are, running an epic game straight from the Steam library. Now it has its own icon in Steam library, you can do all the usual things such as setting up individual control configurations and performance options. If you wish to install any additional launchers, simply rerun the non-Steam launchers file from your downloads folder, tick the launcher that you'd like to install and click OK. If you find that you're missing artwork for any of the launchers or games that you install, you can head over into the images section in Boiler and manually download any artwork from there. Here you can see I'm adding the artwork for the Amazon Games launcher. Just remember to click the import button again before going back into game mode. Back in game mode you can see that that's worked pretty well and now I have all the artwork for Amazon Games. Before I go I'd just like to give a big thanks to Mororoy and Philip K for creating these applications for the Steam Deck. Without them, this video wouldn't have been possible. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.